Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Cicada 3F, the Freecada. Uh, just because I wanted to play some mobile skirmish gameplay with jump jets. And that's what the Cicada can do. So let's take a look at the build before we enter the games. What are we doing here? XL Engine 270, two jump jets, double large, double ear medium lasers and four heat sinks. Very straightforward. We have a cooldown quirk of about 20% if I remember correctly on the Cicada 3F. Uh, don't get confused by the L that is behind it, it's a loyalty variant, you got uh, that at some point when you spend money on the game. Uh, PGI has a loyalty program so every time or each year they, they give something uh, to the people that spend money on the game for their loyalty and that uh, was one of the max uh, in 2016, 15, I cannot remember. I have this thing for, for a while now. Um, but yeah, Straightforward, we have a mid-range build that is highly mobile and uh, we are a support fire build today of support fire mech today. What are we doing with it? Now, first of all, we take our good old laser vomit build. We have the left and right arm with the heat gen nodes here with the laser duration nodes, which are very handy. Uh, and I'm skipping cooldown here because again, the build is running only four heat sinks with four energy weapons. Mm, it's a bit a bit toasty and especially with the high cooldown that we have naturally from the quirks We don't need any additional cooldown cooldown does nothing if you are at maximum heat Therefore I try to skip it here now no survivability because mobility is our armor And therefore I'm going for full speed tweak and anchor turn anchor turn is really great to make some sharp corners when you are in trouble We have the full cool run unlocked and we also have the radar deprivation, which is so nice. You can break line of sight and therefore locks with ease with that mag. And uh, you play a lot of hit and run shenanigans. You will see that in the games that are coming. And then double artillery and double cool shot to keep the damage up. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Skirmish on the Termaline Desert. It's Termaline Desert, absolutely. Enemies will be in Fox 6 and I think I'm gonna try to drop an artillery strike on that before they can make any nice move. And uh, also I want to tell my team that they are there in the Fox 6 area down below. Uh-huh. Oh wait, actually, ah, I messed up. Woohoo, let's get out of here. Yep. Okay, you, you win, I lose. That's fine. Absolutely. Okay, let's do it again. But this time, uh, maybe with better aim. And not that much return fire. It's okay. I mean, it was yellow, uh, funnily enough, doing basically the same thing that I do here. Going for support build. And man, my laser burns. They are so messed up right now. Okay. Good. Dropping artillery. I think it's maybe wasted maybe not uh, because i probably only hit one enemy but i hit him good uh, that's a panther oh actually wolfhound wolfhound the wolf panther and this would be a nice artillery strike now let's do it hey guys okay so i really hope that my team follows up at some point at the moment we're trying to harass them and again tell my team that they are here kind of hello Jumping up a bit. All right, so what we are doing here, guys, could you come? Uh, Fox 6 is just so easy to get kills here. Fox 6, guys. Come on, please do that. Help us out. Um, That's not good. Uh, guys, really, I'm serious. Fox 6, easy kills. They are on low ground, we are have high ground. If you want to win the game, this is the place to be. Okay, and I'm out of here. Ooh. Are you coming? I mean, I don't want to be condescended, but I, we, what are you doing there? Sorry, but we have everybody where we want them. We could have easily won by now. The game would be over. The half of the team would be dead. I mean, that, that being the enemy team. Just saying. What takes you so long? My assault mags, what are you doing in Delta 7? Delta 7 is, is empty. It's completely empty. You're not shooting your weapons while the enemies are shooting all of them. And that's bad. That's how we lose the game. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, okay. Let's try our best to, to win this game. Let's catapult. Echo catapult is almost cored. Echo, please. Luciana needs some killing. Holy moly. Oh, finally. Finally, the reinforcements arrive. I'm just staying in second line right now. I don't want any of this. Also, I need to check this. No, actually, we have we have somebody checking it. Okay. There's a light mech going down. 
<laughs> and see how easy it is when they have the low ground. You can take the kills in no time. With ease. Okay, got some damage in there. Let's push forward. Grab the kill. That's good. Uh, yeah, this guy is running Gauss rifles. Uh, this is a blood ass. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Finally. Ah, uh, no. I want to say finally a Warhawk that is a bit more aggressive. I think I was wrong. <laughs> Hello, Jenna. How's it going, man? Don't shoot me, guys. Very important. Don't shoot me. I'm your friend. At, at least I try to be. Back shots. Always good. Let's take him. And... I actually think Marauder is, is a good target. Mm -hmm. Side is open. There's the, the hell spawn again. And my heat level is, as you might tell, very critical. So we gotta take a time to, to cool off a bit. Mm -hmm. He's almost down. Six kills an hour and here. Step so out against the Marauder. And... Override? That wasn't the, an override, guys. Come on. Was it an override? I don't think that it was an override. Hello, Mr. Uziel. Okay, you are running racks. I think it's time for the cool shot. Are you giving up? Is that surrender that I see here? Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he's out of... He is out of ammo. <gasps> yeah, we destroyed the leg. And as a result, he's out of ammo. Heat level critical. Nice fight here, by the way. Got him. So, the stagger shot for the win. Mm, this guy is able to get killed. By the way, yeah. The cockpit or the center torso of the hell spawn is a bit offset to the right. So keep that in mind. Aim a little bit more to the right if you want to shoot the guys in the center torso. Very important. Now, active cheater. Two heavy machine guns, four ear mediums. Okay. So, yeah, he's gonna get destroyed as well. So... It, again, it... Don't take me... Don't get me wrong, guys. The thing is that I just saw a huge opportunity that I wanted to keep for our team. I was trying to be as active as possible to keep them where they are. With my artillery strike, with my presence, with my harassment. And... A thousand damage? Okay. I guess. <laughs> But I wanted to say, I had no follow-up. There was... People weren't coming. And, um, you know, I was maybe a little bit too upset there. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend you guys. Yeah, that might have been the artillery. Maybe. Anyhow. Uh, one killing blow, 10 assists, 4 kilos damage dealt with... Two components destroyed. That's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold and we are playing Domination. So we go into the circle and see what we can do here. I could also go down to the basement and drop a till. You know what, we're gonna do that. Here's a nice artillery trick. If you don't know that by now, you're gonna, you're gonna get that to know now. I really hope that there are not that many enemies coming up here. So we're gonna wait here. For a while, for a second, for a minute, for, I don't know, for how long, until we have vision and certainty that the enemies are mostly here. And then we're gonna drop an artillery strike just right here. And the enemies are getting hit by it, hopefully. So, uh oh, low signal. Ah, uh, that's actually good. So we drop it down here. Right? They don't see the smoke, but the, the stuff will hit on top. And that's important. Let's go. Let's see if that hits. Kabam? Oh, oh! I wish I had seismic sensor. Seismic sensor would have helped so much to figure out where they are actually. So low signal again. I mean, there is a new yell now. By the way, the low signal is coming from ECM from top of me. Uh, they are not in the basement. Not really. We have a Hellbringer there. Let's go. Let's charge the Hellbringer. I hope he's alone. Uh, is he running heavy lasers? No, he's not. There's a guy. There are multiple guys. Many, many guys here. Hello, Mr. Victor. I'm gotta get out of here. It's a flea! Hello, flea. Heat vision. Uh, I'm on the flea. Nice kill. And... Yeah, that's good. We got a kill. We got an early kill. You know what? If the enemies are sitting there, we gotta shoot them with artillery. Let's <laughs> see if that does something. Okay, and we push through. So, Hellbringer is getting 
a bit of hell brought from us. I don't dare pushing out though, especially since we have this piranha, <laughs> this piranha, who is kind of obstructing my my path all the time. And they, oh, there they are, nice UAV. So now we know. Hi, you really want to do that? You, I don't, I don't know if you want to, dude. I, I'm not entirely sure. Where's my piranha? Hey, what? He, he bailed. No. Um. Hey, Uziel, stop that, please. Thing is, I'm just a support fire guy, and he has a ultra five. But let's see. We can core him relatively easily. We can. I don't know if we can kill him. Ah, the viper to the rescue. <laughs> Go away with your machine guns. Uh, my Timber Wolf has to kill him quickly, or somebody else actually. That would be great. Oof, we are actually under heavy pressure here in the basement. I have to say. Uh, we are kind of split from our team. Uh, I want to regroup. I, I don't care. Let's let's get up again. Let's get on the high ground. If we can find the Uziel or the Viper, both are caught, we could technically kill them. Bad. What about this guy? The Thanatos is open in the back. Should try to get a kill here. Yeah, definitely worth it. And the problem is that they have a UAV up there. I'm gonna quickly take it. I said take it. Good. And we keep going. Yeah, we are in their backs. They are running. That's great. This is uh, another Uziel. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. But we need to keep them pressured so that they will mostly run and can... Oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. And cannot regroup. Let's get out of here. That was the Uziel that we opened up before. How do we engage? Do we even engage? Hmm. Top is clear. There's the Viper. I think we're gonna help out with the Viper here. Right torso, critical damage. Right torso is critical. I know, I know, I know. It's another Uziel. There we go. We lost an arm. There is the kill on the Viper. And we are actually not that far ahead. We only got one kill more than the enemies have. So, let's see if I can help out against the Commando. I was hoping that he was super damaged already. Getting, getting one shot in there. Wow. Very, very interesting game, I have to say. Okay, gotta regroup. We have a lot of enemies which are still fresh-ish. I think the commander is our best bet to level the field a bit. Nice, that was very, very valuable. Uh oh, Gauss. Okay. Uh -huh. Can we can we get behind him? We definitely can. Oh, he's a one shot. Nice. Okay. It's 8 and 8. This is yellow. Uh, worries me a bit, actually. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, was yellow. No, no, no. Not good. I got to run from him. Let me get away from this. Okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's cooking. <gasps> he's cooking. Um, okay. I gotta run. I have to completely disengage. Full disengage here. I... yeah, he got me. I hope that I was uh, faster than him to get around the corner there. I did not get that. Ah, oh, man. Damn it. It was so close. It was a cool fight here. I really, really enjoyed that. Arctic Wolf still online with streaks. And uh, he is fighting against two enemies. He has the advantage of the UAV, though. He won't get away from them. Mm -mm, they are on your trail. Actually, it's actually pretty good to split them up. And he has an arc as well. Oh, <gasps> that actually hit. Did it? I think it did. This is a very interesting late game scenario here. I believe our Arctic Wolf can definitely do it. Okay, okay. Both Uziels are side torso lost. So both are equally ripe to kill. Oh man. Yeah, he needs to kind of engage though. I would do some run-throughs here, trying to get a lock. No, don't don't lose the lock so often. Like trying to get a lock and then run through the next point of cover and shoot one burst of missiles and then repeat. That's what I would have done probably. And this guy is not. Ah, he was not side also destroyed. Interesting. Okay, good game, guys. That was really fun to play. That was. It was a very challenging run here. Now, let's have a look at the end score before we finish the video. Let's see. 
We got three kills, six assists, one kill, most damage dealt with 685 damage and three components destroyed. That's your daily dose for today. That was the Cicada. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.